the high court has temporarily stopped the vaccination of children against COVID-19 without the consent of their parents. That story is coming up shortly. But first, let us look at what we had. President Uhuru Kenyatta Tuesday unveiled the final report of the nationwide airborne geophysical survey that helps identify where Kenyan's prized resources can be found. President Kenyatta said that the project, the country now has a clear picture of its immense potential, which include base metals, coal, gemstones, geothermal spots, forest cover, water bodies, precious metals, and rare earth elements. The forest, I beg your pardon, the mapping was undertaken by a group of young Kenyan professionals under the supervision of a multi-agency team from the security sector. British Gatonia opens our coverage with that report. Speaking when he launched the joint national mapping projects, President Kenyatta expressed optimism that the projects will help in the national development landscape. He commended the talented young Kenyan professionals who worked jointly under the multi-agency team to make the projects a reality. This will go a long way towards improving the ease of doing business in our country, making ourselves a much more attractive destination for business and thereby creating opportunity for you more young people to get decent jobs in our country. Through the projects, the team mapped out a wide range of resources, including base metals, coal, gemstones, geothermal spots, forest cover, water bodies, precious metals and rare earth elements. And with an inventory of what we hold, state actions as well as investment can now guide informed and sustainable exploitation of our natural resources, particularly through manufacturing and industrialization, both of which are a key plank of our Vision 2030. The mapping, the president said, has helped the Ministry of Education in mapping out schools countrywide. The Ministry of Roads has been assisted in the identification of road reserves, while the Kenya Forestry Services has been able to map out forest cover and identify encroached areas. The president said the team also successfully developed a current cadaster for Nairobi County, which has helped in the identification and securing of public lands such as green spaces, health facilities, schools, roads and road reserves. But you have gone a step further and developed more vibrant applications like the National Addressing System of Kenya, a homegrown door-to-door -door address and reference system that will vastly improve e-commerce as well as the availability of emergency services across the city of Nairobi. And this, I hope, is something that will be transplanted in all counties of our republic. The head of state also commended the team for developing several online applications such as Taifa Pay, used to centrally collect most government revenues within Nairobi, which has increased transparency and accountability in government and private dealings. Today I urge all Kenyans to embrace Arthi Sasa that has established a very clear, transparent very affordable and efficient land information management system. ICT Cabinet Secretary John Mushero noted that the skills used to formulate the unique innovations were a clear testimony that Kenya is a leader in technology and will go a long way in transforming service delivery in the country. The digitization of government services, Your Excellency, has placed Kenya on a global map in ease of doing business and access to government services. The president called on the government agencies to embrace innovations generated from this exercise, saying they will fast track creation of jobs, diversification of revenue sources, and industrial development. Beatrice Gatonyangetich, Prime Edition.